Today you join me in Hackney in North London and I'm going to be showing you around Blackwood House, a modern minimalist home with a sleek black exterior. I'll also introduce you to the owner Ed who's a photographer and this home is also available for photo shoot hire with first option. Let's start the tour. Starting from the exterior, we have electric gates leading you in. I'd say you could probably park a small car out the front. Over in front of me here, we have a bike storage and then steps leading you down to a Japanese inspired sort of decked garden with this gorgeous Japanese Asa maple tree, which is really pretty. And then looking back at the iconic look out of the house, we have black stained wood as the exterior. Let's go on inside and check it out. Welcome inside the home. So to my left, you have a beautiful floating staircase made in American walnut. And we've got three floors to explore in today's video. We have two bedrooms on this floor, another bedroom and the living and kitchen down below, and the living space upstairs. Let's go check it out. I briefly want to pause on the staircase to appreciate how much natural light is coming through that window. There's also a really cool study desk just over there. I'll show you that in a second. We've got like a secret door to get there. Okay, coming through to the living space. It's a very minimal design with the main focus being outside. Beautiful picture frame window here. Now the flooring is white poured resin, which is actually really nice on the feet. I am wearing my shoes today because the owners did say I could wear them before you comment that I'm in my shoes. Check this out though, Matt. We've got a little window and the owner, Ed, said sometimes there's like birds have got in here, so they've had to add like a little wire because they open it and then scare each other. <laughs> now, another cool feature is the um, hiding the speakers. So this is just like a little mesh cover. Over here, we have a Charles and Ray Eames chair, which we've seen in a few other tours. Another cool feature to hide the speaker system is they've put a mesh cover over here, so the remote still works and the speakers come out the TV on the wall here. Now Matt, I'm gonna get you to turn around so I can show everyone what's in these big cupboards to my right. First up, we have a little bar. Next up, we've got a desk. And this one here. Pretty cool. And then there's the secret door to the study on this side. Ready to come in? Wow, why don't I meet you the other side? Yeah, you go that side. Hey everyone. <laughs> so this is the owner Ed's little study area. And I know you're all probably dying to know who owns this cool house. Let me introduce you to them. I'm Ed Reeve, I'm an uh, architecture and interiors photographer. And I'm Michaela Miazza, I'm a dancer, choreographer and movement director. I first saw the site 20 years ago now, in 2003. There was no planning permission on it so it was quite cheap. Then managed to get planning permission. And lucky I did, because otherwise you'd be interviewing me on my vegetable patch. And it was really quick. Um, we had the superstructure prefabricated in Germany, and it's made out of solid timber. And we rented a crane, and we craned it all into place. I mean, we dug the site out before it arrived. We've had all sorts of photo shoots here, and music videos. In fact, we became the house of grime for a while. <laughs> Um, Stormzy did a music video here and then everyone else wanted to shoot here after that. But then we've had David Attenborough do um, interviews here. Now back on the ground floor, I'm going to show you the two bedrooms. First up on my left, we have a modern black tiled ensuite with a shower over bath. Now this little storage unit has a nice story behind it because Ed actually found it on the side of the road before it was going to the tip and the dump and they've revamped it. Yeah, it belonged to a watchmaker. Now coming into one of the kids' bedrooms, beautiful and spacious, and so much natural light is flooding through this window with a gorgeous view of the church, and there's a privacy film which casts really nice shadows. Now this flows onto, oh, I've just seen this actually, it's really sweet. You know where they measure yourself? Yeah. So you can see how far you've grown. <laughs> Every kid's got to have one of them, right? And then this is the kind of second bedroom for the kids. You flow through this room, back to the entrance, 
where we first came into the house. This is the front door. Now we're gonna head downstairs and show you the kitchen and living space. As you come down to the lower ground floor, you still have loads of natural lights. We have a beautiful picture frame window overlooking the front decked garden. And you also have the staircase coming down from the front. Now let's go into the kitchen and living space. The flooring is micro cement, giving that kind of rustic feel. We have a kind of storage wall on this side. These are actually from Ikea, which I thought was cool. And Matt, if you turn around, we have another little square window. That's so cute. <laughs> this is the dining space. So we have a walnut table here and another set of Charles and Ray Eames. These are the conference chairs made out of fiberglass and they actually don't make these anymore. I know that's a dad thing to say, but they actually don't make them in that material, I think, anymore. And then coming over to the kitchen, this is a polyform kitchen, and this is gray stained oak on the worktops. We also have a bit of a chef style worktop over on this side. Fridge and freezer and oven is all down below here. And then this is some handy little storage. Oh, how do you open it again, Matt? I think it's at the edges and it's just a good pull. Oh, it's just a good pull. The there we go. There we go. I didn't want to break it. There we go. Oh, oh God. <laughs> there we go anyway. Okay. No one can blame you. It's like when you're at someone else's house, yeah. you don't know how everything works. And over here, um, we have all the different Pantone coloured mugs because this house is used as photo shoots. When the crew comes, they all have their own little mugs so you don't get confused who drinks the seeds. I thought that was cool. Now another little kind of living space. We have an awesome art piece above me here. This is, is it Bolivia? This is Near Bolivia, Chile. yeah. Photography by Don Ed, Ed. yeah. This section at the back is from Ikea too. So Ed kind of jumbled up all the drawers. And then through this one here, we have a TV. This is another Charles and Ray Eames chair. You said I could get this out to show everyone. Okay. So, the TV swings out, so you can watch it while you're cooking, and if, see if you want to be on the sofa, but then it's hidden if you don't like the look of it. All right, let me just put this back. <laughs> A few seconds. God, this is... I've made it look really easy. A little longer than a few minutes later. So the TV's back away now. We've got some bifolding doors. This opens and then you can actually slide them. They're actually similar to, but not exactly bifolding doors. Yeah, they're not bifolding doors. I thought that, as I said, actually. And then you can have the entrance in the middle. Ready? Should we go out? Let's go. So this is a depth sort of area and you've got side access to the front. Yeah, this is a very interesting space, this. Although this is you know, dug down and would feel like basement level, it still feels like the ground floor, I would say. I found the little windows. <laughs> I should have gone on that side no, and this one. So here is the front deck garden, all in black wood. It's a very big theme for this house. <laughs> but this beautiful Japanese Acer maple tree, I believe it's called. And when the um, leaves fall, it's all red on the floor. And if you come on to this side, Matt, you can see this beautiful big two, actually, picture frame window. And now I'm going to show you the principal suite. So shall I teleport in there? Yeah, you can teleport. And I think there's a door there, actually, a hidden door. Oh. But it's locked from the inside, of course. OK, it's let me just go through the glass two seconds. I just jumped through glass. <laughs> okay, come on in, Matt. This is the principal suite. We have electric curtains, which I'll show you, a blind, sorry. Ready? There's actually a walk-in wardrobe behind here. Wanna have a look? There we go. You can walk in, so it's technically classed as a walk-in wardrobe. Coming out of the bedroom, this is a great view of the floating walnut staircase. I love when the steps are floating and there's some gaps. Now down here we have a bathroom, the shower over bath for that bedroom, and then the downstairs toilet. 
Now let's finish this tour outside. Finishing the tour where we started, we hope you guys enjoyed looking around this beautiful home and meeting the owners, Ed and Misha. If you want to rent this place out for a photo shoot, I'll leave the link at the top of the description. And if you've got a cool house and want to apply to be on the show, drop us an email, put it on screen right now. We'd love to hear from you. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to hit like and subscribe. We appreciate all your support and we'll hopefully see you in the next one. See ya.